Yo, 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 what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, we're going to be continuing part two of a game we played previously. This game is called Do Not Take This Cat Home. Whatever you do, do not take that little nigga home. So, our goal today is to not take that little nigga home. If you haven't watched part one of my video, uh, go ahead and watch part one now. I'm going to go ahead and link it right now in the video. Um, so hopefully you should see that somewhere on the screen. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere on the screen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You said you ain't going to take me. I'm just going to take your mind then. <laughs> They're going to have an intrusive thoughts. No. <laughs> no, they're having intrusive thoughts. All the dogs are so adorable. You want to pet every single one you come across. But you know not all owners are cool with strangers just walking up and manhandling their pets. Not all dogs appreciate it either. So you stroll around the pet trying to exude a warming aura that will beckon one of these cute doggies to you. You don't have to wait very long. Aww, you stopped at the smallest, cutest puppy you've ever seen scampering up to you, blocking your path. What the fuck are these options? <laughs> they said kill the puppy. Oh my god, what's going on? Eat the puppy? <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> Bro, what's going on? These choices. Oh, we gonna have to go back because I want to eat the puppy low key. But like, is that gonna fuck up my storyline real bad? I want to keep the storyline good. So let me leave the park, kick the puppy, kill the puppy, eat the puppy, pick the puppy up. We're gonna pick it up. That sounds like. <laughs> oh my god! Oh hell no! Nah. What the fuck was wrong with the dog? <laughs> what the fuck was wrong with the dog? <laughs> Bro. Oh, he just barely managed to rein in the reflex to throw the puppy as far away from you as possible. With, the, with shaking hands, you quickly place the puppy on the grass and take several jerky steps back. The owner seems confused by your reaction to their puppy. Oh, no, nah, lady, a I, I, I cat in a box fucking is haunting me right now, bro. I don't know what's going on. The owner seems confused by your reaction to their puppy, but you just wave at them in a daze before hastily stumbling away. Oh, I'm tweaking, y'all. I'm tweaking. Maybe you're not feeling so great about being at the park at the moment. Maybe you should leave. Stay at the park. No, stay. You stay at the park. You try to calm down by watching all the dogs from afar as you walk along the path. But every so often, often they run up to you. And when they do, they look wrong. The owners don't seem to notice. You find a bench and sit down for a quick break, closing your eyes. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe this wasn't the best idea after all. Maybe. Oh, what the fuck? You should have stayed with me instead. Who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is that? Ow. You've broken out of one of your thoughts and something gently lands on your lap. You look down to see a frisbee on your thighs. Hey, sorry about that. Can you throw that back? You look up and see an owner waving at you in the distance, but more importantly, Oh, hell no. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Get that dog out of here. Bitch, get your dog. A series of excited barks jerk your gaze forward and you see a large DOG sprinting towards you. Hey, hey, hurry and throw it back. But yeah, this is another like decision based game um, and it, 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 it's really wonky so I'm really excited to continue to play this game.
It make me wanna go to sleep. It make me wanna take a black cat home. What with all my tongue? Think I got a little fur on my dome. I'm a black cat in a brown box. Do not take me home. I'm a fucking bomb. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. All right, let's let's play the game. <laughs> No need, no need to, to listen to that. No need. You're walking. Right, of course. It's the first time in a while that you felt like going out. And you're actually glad you did. The weather is absolutely perfect. That's a good sign, right? Maybe your luck is finally starting to turn around. You tentative, you tentatively allow yourself to feel excited for the possibilities of where you could go or what you could do. Maybe even a who you could meet. You're so deep in thought that you almost miss it. I'd be so deep in thought I would miss it. Fuck that cat. Huh? What was that? Curiosity guiding your steps. You follow the sound to the entrance of a lonely alleyway. The sunlight only just manages to reach down in between the tall buildings on either side. You timidly enter the alleyway and walk forward. The loose gravel and the hard scattered debris on the ground softening your steps. Finally, the sound source comes into view in the warm almost ethereal light of the alley at the end of the alley in a big cardboard box is a cat no i don't want to take this cat on i don't want to take this cat on they told me not to take this cat home this cat got two ears two whiskers two yellow eyes Oh dear. Hmm. I guess I should have been able to probably guess it was a cat in a box. The cat says, Meow. It's an interesting looking cat. It's pretty yellow eyes. They shine like gold among the dark sea of its black fur. It puts its paws up on the edge of the box and looks up at you. Oh. It's so cute. So cute. The cat's so cute. I need it. So, so, you look so familiar. Right. Fuck it. All right, you still meowing? And then again, it is a cat. Not many different ways for a standard black cat to look after all. I mean, it is only a black cat, girl. Come on, I can't be... though just look it's not glaring at you or hissing at you for getting this close like the other stray cats would have in the past it's just sitting there patiently waiting for you to do something don't take that motherfucking cat home that's what they told me you never take this thing home with you you just can't take it home with you you're a responsible adult we got responsibilities. Uh-uh, don't be meowing. I got rent. I got bills. I need food. Like, I can't. I couldn't take care of a cat for a long term. I could barely afford you on my day off. I can't afford you on my day on. Uh, what to do? What to do? What to do? You are not ready. I am not ready. Hold on, y'all. I'm finna... What should we do? We're going to leave the cat. It's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. We're going to leave the cat. You make it halfway out of the alley when the cat meows almost pitifully at you. Look at his eyes. They fell. Mm -mm. I don't care how far those little golden eyes fall. I will not be taking a cat home with me. I'm going to listen like the good person I am. Somebody tells me something, it's probably for a reason. It's probably because they don't want me to get hurt. 
So bye bye, Mr. Cat. Adios, Arriva Derche. We're gonna keep ignoring him. Keep walking out that alley. Stride out that alley. Nope. I'm nipping in the bud and getting it on with my day. I'm nipping it in the bud and I'm getting on with my day. I leave the alleyway and I continue on my way. Wait, what was I doing? In all the excitement of dele- dealing with your furry dilemma, you'd forgotten that you still hadn't decided on what you were going to do on your day off. I said, let's go to the carnival. That sounds pretty fun. Why, why I look like this? Why I look like I'm on LSD? I look like I'm tripping already. I'm tripping already. I'm tripping already. I'm at the carnival and I'm tripping already. Wait, 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 wait. This week go harder than a snake. A snake off LSD. What we do today? What we do today? At the carnival. What we about to play? At the carnival. Spend our fucking day. At the carnival. We ain't get a cat, so we got a carnival. Go, 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 go. Alright, let's see how the carnival is. <laughs> Ferris wheel roller coaster, Pharaoh. What did that say? Pharaoh boat? Ferraro boat? Rides you've been on before. Hoot, coin toss, balloons, darts. Games you've played before. Funnel cake, popcorn, cotton candy food you've eaten before i don't care how many times i've eaten fair food baby i'm gonna be happy every time i don't know why she tweaking all things you've enjoyed before you're surrounded by groups of people all having fun together laughing playing eating taking pictures making memories and then there's you the sun hasn't started to set yet still high in the sky but it will soon you start to wonder if maybe you should just go home for the day you start to wonder if maybe uh, you should just go home for the day when you stop in your tracks. You see something new. A new attraction you've never seen before. A maze of funhouse mirrors? It sounds kind of lame, honestly. <laughs> That was kind of lame if you ask me. There isn't even a line to go in. But then, what else is there to do, you know? Let's enter the maze. Let's enter the maze. We enter the maze. A few rooms in, and you notice that all that the mirrors aren't uh, at all weird. Some just show you looking back at yourself. A little bored, a lot tired, and so very, very Maybe this was a mistake? Why did you think going into a maze of mirrors was a good idea? Even if it was something new to experience. I, I, I can't do this today. You turn around and head back the way you came. Ow! Only to bump into a mirror. Stupid mirror! Ow! Where's the exit? You try again only to find another mirror blocking your way. Oh my God, we're surrounded by mirrors. We done got ate up by the mirror room. By the time you're all, you're all turned around, you've already realized that the way you came in is completely gone. Ah! Uh, okay, don't panic. I just got to keep going forward, right? You step through the only opening you can find and nearly trip over something on the ground. You bend down to pick it up. What's this doing here? In your hand rests a worn looking fl- flashlight. Curious, you flick it on. Click. Huh? The light doesn't look very. <gasps> Crap, the lights. Where did the power go? When did the power go out? Or did the attraction operator forget I was in here? How long have I been in here, actually? You pull out your phone to check the time or maybe call the police. Your phone is dead. You grip the flashlight in your hand. The light it emitted earlier was dim enough just for you to know there's probably not that much juice left. Best to reserve it for a worst case scenario and feel your way out. Yeah, you can do this. You you got this. You can do this. 
You got this, girl. You can do this. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You take a calming breath. Well, forward we go. Hello, darling, daring adventurer. Huh? Noni? Who said that? Welcome to the mirror maze. Would you like to know how to navigate the maze? Yes, I need some help, girl. I need some help. Help me. Have you ever seen me fighting in the forest with a grizzly bear? Help the bear. <laughs> Once again, welcome to the mirror maze. You're in a bit of a jam, but don't worry. You're in good hands. Or rather, good pause. Why the fuck is this cat back again? Swear to God, I've been trying to get rid of this thing so hard. Philip got a mother freaking star. Rawr. Rawr. It's crazy. See these little cuties here? They'll be doing their best to guide you through the maze. Aren't they generous? When you enter a room, the emergency light will flash, letting you see the past before you for a second. Also, what lies beyond them. Whenever you see these kitties, just go where they are and you'll reach the next room. Unfortunately, they're not the only things in here. It's highly suggested that you refrain from following any of our other guests. They can be sneaky or distracting, but they're always hostile. So please take caution when advancing to the next room. Of course, this wouldn't be much of a mirror maze without any mirrors. Can they hurt you? No, they're just mirrors, silly. They don't do anything at all by that lady and you can't do anything to them either they're just an obstacle you can't pass through mm -hmm. they're just an obstacle you can't pass through go left go center or go right the choice is yours though if you find a room with no helpful kitties in sight and all the paths lead to a mirror or something else, it's recommended that you stay put. And just maybe <laughs> it'll work itself out. Girl, I don't know what you mean by that. Now for your navigation tools. That flashlight you found doesn't have much juice left. It'll only let you get a quick extra peek at your surroundings about five times. So try not to use it all up at once. You can keep track of your progress through the rooms up up to the left and your lives are to the right you got three lives so be careful to avoid the less friendly guests lurking around why only three lives you ask because you're soft and squishy it wouldn't take much uh, to damage your repair you want beyond repair uh -huh. and besides you're human and humans usually only have one life yes and yet here you get three don't you think you ought to show a little more gratitude? And that's the end of your tutorial. Hopefully it was helpful. Are you ready to play? Mm. All right, I guess I'm ready to play. Okay, three, two, one, go. We're gonna go to the right. Okay, next room. I'm gonna go to the right. I, I, I don't think there's nothing wrong with that cat. All right, we're gonna go to the left. Stay. Just wait. Oh, hell no. Nah. Left. Okay, next room. Bam. Left. Bam. Okay. We, 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 we. 
Am I supposed to go through the mirror? Am I supposed to go through that motherfucking mirror? We just gonna stay put. Wait for shit to change. Wait for shit to stay the same. Hey, shit changed. We just seen that kitty cat. She ain't looking crazy. We gonna go right. Okay, next room. Everybody looking crazy. Everybody looking cool. Right door where we go. Okay, we in the next room. We in the next room. I'ma, I'ma go to the right. Cause I know that kitty. Right. I'ma go to the right again. Cause that kitty my friend. I'ma, I'ma stay in the center again. Hopefully least she don't kill my ass center again, center again, center again, center again. We gon' stay, feel like pretend, something changed. What the fuck happened? We gon' go to the left. Okay, next room. We gon' keep straight. Okay, next room. We gon' we gon' go to the right next room. Hey, way, way, way. We gon' go to the center kitty cat looking real mental. We gon' go to the left. We gon' go to the left. We gon' go to the left. We gon' stay in the middle. We gon' go to the. We gonna stay in the middle. We gonna go to the right. We gonna go to the left. We gonna go to the. 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 The left, right. We gonna go to the left. We gonna go to the. We gonna stay we're here tonight. Who in the other room? Ooh. Why nothing changed? Oh, an exit. An exit. Did I do it? Was I good? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. But you're running too fast to stop yourself from colliding into the glass. What the heck? Did I not do a good job? Except you don't quite go into the glass. You don't exactly collide with it either. You simply pass through it. And on the other side, you see an endless white void in. What the heck is this? Yourself? Dozens of you. Hundreds of you wandering around, aimless, faceless, and empty. So empty and listless, they don't even acknowledge your presence. <gasps> you try to turn back, but the glass doesn't give. Past the glass? You stupid cat! Ah, I hate you! <laughs> I can't even make them yell out. Why are you tilting your head, cat? Come back here! Come back here! You stupid evil cat! Oh, I fucking hate that cat. Ooh! Ooh, that cat evil. That cat evil. Oh my god, and he just gonna leave me here? I'm trapped with only my selfish company. Hey, I beat the maze, though. Hey, I be that fucking maze. I be that maze. Best in the game. Don't. I said I don't come to play. Yay. Wanna take a vacay right now, but I can't cause I might go crazy. Gotta take a black cat home, but she's still not my fucking baby. Alright, so we got zero so far. We've got 15. 19, I beat the maze. 21. And 24 as well as 27. Uh, I wish I can like uh, go to my like my endings before. I wish I could like like I don't want to start over from the beginning. Oh okay okay I can that's what I meant like this. But I don't have nothing saved like what is this is the means. Fuck. Oh, we're just gonna we're just gonna click through this. We are we already know what that cat we already know what that cat do. Uh, today today we we're gonna go to uh we're not gonna take the cat home today as usual. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. We can go through all of this. Uh, we'll leave the cat like usual. You know what I'm saying? We don't take the cat home. Uh, we gonna ignore that cat. Ignore that cat. I wanna go back to the carnival this time. I don't want to go back to the car, but I won't go in the maze. I'll do something else. There's got to be a better way to spend your day than wandering around staring at weird mirrors. There is a better thing I could do. Now what? Oh, why can't I go back to the carnival? Okay, let's go watch a movie then. 
It's been a while since a film came out that looked interesting enough for you to drag yourself to a movie theater. But then there's a showing of one such film at the old theater. The movie was a little too neat to be picked up by a new cinema that opened up right across the street. That's okay though, you're not exactly a fan of the crowds. And nothing ruins the experience of watching a new movie for you more than a noisy audience. Mm, let's go to the old theater. You eagerly buy your ticket from the kind old man in the booth and head inside. It's barren of any trace of other people and the decor looks like it hasn't changed since the 80s. Maybe even the 70s. But that's what you were counted on. You consider buying some popcorn but can't help be, but be concerned that everything at the concession stand might be expired. You move on and walk through the halls, finally locating the theater designated on your ticket stub. You expect that the theater, as expected, the theater your movie will be playing in is completely empty. Perfect. Or is it? You pick a spot right in the middle, even counting the seats and taking into consideration the gap of the staircase. As you settle in, the dim lights fade away, leaving the room pitch black for a few seconds before the screen flickers on. No commercials or trailers pop up. The movie just begins. Please, you shrug and let yourself get immersed in the opening scene. But just as you're getting into premise, the doors behind you momentarily casting light into the room and ruining the atmosphere. You hold in a frustrated sigh. It's a public establishment after all. The place can't exactly afford to stay open if you're the only customer, right? You try to refocus on the movie, but you sense the new presence slowly shifting around the theater before heading in your general direction. What? Oh, hell no. This nigga tweaking. This man right here tweaking like a mug. This man came to the movie theaters. He came to the old school movie theaters with his hat on and go sit directly in front of me. Baby, you better go through and fucking one, two. Better better hit him with that doink, doink, doink for the one, two Mayweather hit that. He ain't making it past this movie. He ain't making it to the credits of this movie tonight. No, ma'am, no, sir, no turkey, no ham. No. Sat right in front of me. You gape in utter disbelief as a stranger shuffles down the aisle only to sit right in front of you. <gasps> There's no one else here and plenty of places to sit. The stranger is also unusually tall. Even with the stadium-like arrangement of the seats being on somewhat steep incline, they're completely blocking your view. Bitch, I'm confronting that stranger. The fuck? You hate confrontation. You can already feel your palms starting to sweat at the idea of it. Your throat's closing up and your body's starting to shake. Ooh. 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 You've always been more of a fight, a flighter than a fighter. But you paid for this ticket. You've wanted to watch this movie for ages. And now this total stranger has ruined the entire experience for me. You're all alone in this theater. There's nobody here could, that can help you if something goes wrong. But you're angry enough. That you ignore the signs, your body, you ignore all the signs of your body telling you to put as much distance as you can between yourself and this stranger. You gonna confront him. You stand up. Even standing and higher up on the incline, the stranger is still at least a head taller than you. The movie continues to play in the background, but you feel as if a hush immediately falls over the theater at your movement. As if you can sense the stranger anticipating what you plan to do next. You square your shoulders and force a little bass in your voice. Hey! The effort makes your words come out more harshly than you intended. Like a sudden and vicious bark. But you figured they deserve it anyway. You're being a real jerk. You know that? What are you playing at, huh? Are you trying to piss me off? Stranger, like, what? 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 The silence that follows your words is deafening. 
so much that you glance at the screen only to find that the movie has paused? What? Your attention is ripped back to the stranger in front of you as they shift slightly, like a small animal trying to desperately anticipate the moves of a predator. You don't move an inch. You don't look away. You don't dare to blink. Instead, your eyes widen as the person's head turns. And then turns some more. And then turns more beyond what should be possible. Neck bones cracking to face you directly. Ah, you can't move. Wide eyes glowing, resting above a wider grinning mouth glazed down at you. The strangers open up their mouth and what comes out is something impossible to comprehend. That nigga said, <laughs> Okay, we're weird at the voice is endlessly deep and creeps like a weighty door, foreboding the oddly medolic alluring. But it also snaps you out of your terrified trance. Before you know it, you're already out the door. Rolling, rolling. You run through the halls of the empty theater, heading for the exit. You feel something watching from behind, but you're too afraid to look. The exit is now in sight. You sprint forward and bust through the doors. You look and frankly spot the crowded cinema across the street. People, that's what you need, safety and numbers and all that. Without thinking, you rush into the street when a sinking sensation crawls down your spine, compelling you to look behind you. Go to that new cinema, girl. Refusing to even risk a peek over your shoulder, you rush across. Wait, can I go back? I can go back. I can go back, I can turn around. Despite your resistance, you feel your head turning to look away, <laughs> to look back of its own accord while in the middle of the street. You catch a glimpse of a grotesque looking person standing behind the glass doors of the old theater, watching you intensely, cradling something in their arms, something familiar. But. Oh shit, a car! Ah! A glimpse is all you get. As the truck speed forward and crashes into your body. Damn, damn, damn! Stupid cat! Mm -mm -mm. Did I go to the hospital? Damn. You're killed on impact. Your body splattered across the road and crushed further under the heavy tires. In the existing poor screening arrangements. All right, let me, um, I want to go here. Okay, automatic saves. Okay, bet. All right, automatic saves. Let's go. Um, hello. All right, let's go here. We're going to go to the new cinema this time, refusing to even look. A dreadful presence. We make it across the street just fine until it, su until it verily until it very suddenly vanishes leaving you feeling more than a little shaken but at least breathing comes easier you think it's within your best entrance to repress everything that just happened yeah deciding to wait for the movie you've been anticipating to be available on dvd or streaming you join the long line outside the new cinema by the time you've reached the ticket booth you just want to get inside so you pick a movie at random and take your ticket from the tired-looking teenager, Manning Boo. The decor is chic and sleek, and inside the building is bustling with people. It's not really what you're usually into, but it's kind of nice not being alone. Even if you feel a little lonely watching families and groups of friends laughing among themselves, you get some popcorn, but the lines of the concession stands are long, and the prices are criminal anyways. You go through the halls, and follow the signs uh, to the theater designated on your ticket before heading inside. <sighs> you sigh at the sight of an absolutely crowded theater. You head towards a seat only to be told by the person next to it that it's being saved for someone. 
see how you can save seats for somebody in a movie theater. This happens a few more times before you finally manage to get yourself settled into a seat annoyingly off-center to the screen. But the screen is at least visible, if not a little too close, so you grit your teeth and bear it. The light fades out, but the chatter doesn't. The rest of the audience seems content to talk through, talk through the commercials and even through the trailers. You figure the chatter will start when the movie actually will stop when the movie actually begins, but it doesn't even slightly get quieter as the opening scene starts to play out. You sigh out loud, not thinking anyone will hear you anyways. This is why you avoid movie theaters like the plague. What is that? Suddenly, the screen changes, showing the face of a black cat. A familiar black cat. Confused murmur fills the room, but then the cat on screen meows. This nigga done followed me. This nigga done, this nigga done got my IP address. This nigga done got on my VPN and, 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 and came for me. I can't be alone. This sound is, is strange and not like, not at all like any cat should sound. Haunting almost melodic and layered as if it's made of multiple voices of different creatures creatures that would probably never say beagle kind of hard okay that's different that nigga said yeah 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 okay <laughs> go cat Go cat, go cat. You sit in confusion wondering why you haven't already gotten up and left to complain to the cinema staff, but then you hear it. It's scattered, all dissonant at first, but among the crowd, the people start to chant along with the cat on the screen. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> oh no, bruh! Yeah. Why are they chanting? Why are they chanting? Oh no. Get up! Get up! Get up! Everybody, get up! Don't let the cat control you! Get up! <laughs> get up! Soon, the entire room is chanting in perfect unison. Everyone's starting, staring intently at the cat on the screen. You'll feel strangely drawn to the screen yourself, but the compulsion to stare blankly like the others isn't that strong for now. Also, you start to notice out the corner of your eye that some of the people in your immediate vicinity are looking at you. No. They're outright staring holes into you, even if they continue chanting. They don't miss a beat as they slowly begin to frown at you in blatant disapproval. The scowls deepen as time goes on as if they're getting impatient. Baby, we gotta try to blend in. Mm-mm. We gotta try to blend in. Nee. 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 I wanted y'all, remember? <laughs> Thinking fast, you look at the screen and begin to chant in tandem with the crowd. <laughs> you feel the harshness of their collective gaze start to ebb away. The air in the theater becoming lighter once again. <laughs> I'm one of them. I have become a robot. I have been possessed. You realize, you release air shakily, just realizing that you've been holding your breath earlier. You feel stuck. Surely you can't just up and leave now. Not after whatever all this was. 
But there's no telling if they get a wait. What did that say? The people around you seem fine now, but there's no telling that that uh, there's no telling if they get aggressive at you for even moving too much. Never mind outright getting up and leaving. You decide to let uh, this run its course. Hopefully, somebody will come along, right? Or at least turn the film off. You continue to chant with everyone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, 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 ah. You start to feel lightheaded. You feel as if you could fall asleep, but your eyes don't feel heavy in the slightest. You try to look around and gauge the other's emotional state. But you can't see to look away from the screen. You try again, but you're still locked into eye contact with the cat on screen. This cat is too much. This cat is too much. We're, we're all in a trance. You attempt to physically force your line of vision away. You're, you steal your nerves, ready to throw yourself to the ground if you need to. But your body only gets as far as tensing up. Alright, but your body only gets as far as tensing up for a moment before completely loosening itself again, making you lay back limply into your seat. You think you should be panicking right about now, but even your brain feels limp. Your thoughts a vaguely muted pastel pink, airy, sickeningly sweet and loosely spun, like cotton candy. You, you like cotton candy. You think you shouldn't mind your thoughts and body being like cotton candy either. So, why get up and ruin that? I mean, I agree, right? It's pretty nice here. You're at more peace than you've ever felt before in such a crowded room. Still chanting? You've never felt so aligned and in tune with another person, let alone with an entire room of complete strangers. You're not, you're not alone. Out the corner of your eye, the next, the person next to you starts to sink back even further and further into their chair. They sink more, then more. Not like they're slouching or reclining, but more like they're deflating. Their skin bunches up and wrinkles like fabric as if their muscles, their bones have started to disintegrate. Their eyes dim before sinking into their sockets. Their mouth, trying to chant, falls open over a cutoff nyeh. Gasping as the world ends in an awful hiss, a final weak release of air. You muse thoughtfully about whether or not you should be distressed at the sight. But even then, the blanket of peace doesn't leave you. Suddenly, from the pile of skin and clothes next to you, you see a lump moving around. You watch in a dazed fascination as the lump makes its way to the part of the skin where the head used to be and out from the mouth crawls a tiny black kitten yeah 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 ah 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 <sighs> you can hear the familiar hissing sound all around you now as the united unite unified chants start to fade only to be replaced with the faint meowing of kittens I should have just took the damn cat home. The cat followed me home anyways. The cat became multiple kittens. No! Why? Why me? Finally, your voice is the only one still chanting, still human, and alone again. You don't want that. You can't go back to that. Not again. Not again. Please. Then just, you completely just go limp. Your body feels light, but it might as well weigh several tons. Because you realize quite suddenly that you can't move. Not an inch. You can't even shift your eyes to look around. You can't even breathe. But somehow, 
the chant continues to creak weakly from your mouth. Yeah. A few kittens comes forward and perch themselves on the chairs around you, watching your sinking body, meowing as they wait for their youngest sibling to emerge from you. Dozens of glowing eyes peer down at you as your eyes start to cave into the sockets of your softening skull. You manage to make out a silhouette of a familiar cat perching on the seat right in front of you. Your vision finally fades. I gotta turn on my ear real quick. Oh my god, it was just so hot in my room. I had to turn my ear down a little bit. <laughs> All right. Um, as that same hiss of air explodes itself from your mouth, the last thing you sense is something small and alive shifting eagerly under your skin. Ending eighteen. Happy birthday. All right. Let's let's go. Oh no 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 no. I want to go here. I want to go here. Wait. Yes, I I want to I want to go back. I want to go back. I want to go back. I want to go here. I want to return. Wait, I want to go back. I want to go back. I'm gonna go back. Wait. How the fuck do I go back? Okay. Uh, fuck it. How do I go back? And damn it, I quit the game like a dumbass. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like just, just oh, quit to like the main menu. But okay, let me open this bad boy up real quick. Uh, horror. Da 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 da. I was trying to go back to where I last stopped. Like, why the heck would it do that? Why the heck would it do that? Do it not like me or something? I don't really know. I don't really know. All right, endings. Uh, no preferences. I want to start here. All right, I want to leave the theater. I want to try to leave. <laughs> Let me see what my boyfriend texts me about. He just texts me Chick-fil-A. No, why is he eating Chick-fil-A? We're not supposed to eat Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A got them, them antibiotics back in their chicken. Why? All right, this is too weird. I need to get out of here. Gathering your courage... Or perhaps putting your fear to use, you stand up, fully intending to leave the theater when everything comes to an abrupt stop. All of the chanting stops, even the cats chanting on the screen. You tense and risk a glance around the theater. Oh, hell no. They're all staring at you. Every single one of them. They're not moving like they're not even blinking. I gotta turn my ear up some more, bro. What the heck? up in my room like y'all don't even know <laughs> y'all don't even fucking know like the air is right here just turn on give me that fan baby give me that fucking fan um all right you swallow your throat suddenly dry even though a nervous sweat completely soaks through your clothes you highly doubt that sitting back down will fix the situation your legs are shaking under the audience's unnaturally intense scrutiny, but you force yourself to step forward and forward and forward until you finally reach the end of the aisle. You feel their collective glaze, gaze, even worse than, uh, even worse on the staircase. 
All of their heads have turned uncomfortably to the left to look at the, you directly. The screen illuminates their faces, making it clear their blank scowls. They seem even more upset than they have been minutes ago, identical frown lines digging between their brows. You keep going, the heavy atmosphere becoming more and more oppressive with every step. You're so tense with the anticipation that you fully expect someone to grab at you from behind. But no one does. You don't hear any of them even get up. You exit the theater holding your breath as the doors close behind you. Oh. <sighs> You briskly walk through the halls, putting as much distance as possible between you and that theater full of people. Finally, reaching the lobby, you just barely manage to capture yourself from falling to the floor as you gulp in huge gasps for air. <sighs> you expect to feel relief as your breathing calms, but you feel a lingering sense of dread that only spikes once you finally notice it, as well as its source. You look up. And your stomach sinks. Why the fuck? This is the nastiest shit I've ever fucking seen in my life. Oh my freaking goodness. Oh my god. All the people in the lobby area of the movie theater... Everyone in line at the concession stand, all of them are staring at you and they, they look even angrier than the people in the movie theater. You don't hesitate this time. You duck your head, avoid an eye contact and you dip out of that damn cinema. That's what I'm talking about. No, they're following me. Ew. You ignore the glares of everyone in the ticket booths and the lines leading to them. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. You make your way home. Me the whole time. Me the whole time. Whenever you dare to look up at someone on the way, you flinch at the blatant anger, fury, and disgust on their face. Ah! You start, you think you start to hear a faint sound of a cat's meowing behind you, or maybe a kitten's? Ugh! Doesn't matter. You just want to go home. You reach your front door and fumble with the keys, cowering from the look of pure hatred on your neighbor's face as he, as he stares at you from his door. Oh, <sighs> can I go home in peace? Finally, you get inside your apartment. Lock all the locks on the door and slide down with your back against it until you're sitting on the floor. <sighs> <sighs> you allow yourself a moment to breathe. Now home, your heartbeat calms and your fear slowly bleeds from you, leaving you feeling strangely empty. You pass the kitchen, head to your room and slip under the covers of your bed trying to fall asleep. Maybe it's all just a bad dream. As you fall into a fitful sleep, sure to be full of the nighttime nightmares of glowing eyes. You try to ignore the ever-increasing sounds of cats meowing and yowling in the distance outside your apartment. Ending 17, Black Sheep. All right, so here's the endings we got so far. Once again, we got ending zero. What have we gotten so far? We got an ending 15, ending 16, ending 17. Ending 18, 19, 21, 24, and 27. Uh, let's see what our, um, what we got. Can we start off somewhere? I want to start here. Uh, where we confronted the stranger last time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the theater and see what happens. This is too weird. Feeling uncomfortable, you decide to leave the theater. There's still enough time left in the day to do something else. Yeah, we're gonna do something else. Fuck that, man. Now what? He's like, well, on second thought, let's go to the, let's go to the new cinema. <laughs> or is that what I just did this time? By the time you reach the ticket booth, you just want to get inside. So you pick a rent. <laughs> All right. All right. I've already been here. I've already been here. I've already been here. I've already been here. All right, all right. Go ahead and kill me, bro. 
<laughs> Go ahead and kill me. I'm trying to see what ending have I not completed yet. All right. Second thought, I think we're gonna go. We're gonna go back to the dog park. We went to the dog park in the first video. Let's see what else we can do. The only one thing within walking distance, uh, walking distance is a nearby dog park. Ooh. My chair likes to um, a fucking soul on me. But you think that'll make you feel better? First, you get to see a cute cat today. Now you get to see a cute dog. Several of them, in fact. The park is bustling with owners and their canine companions, playing Fisbee, Fretch, running, jumping, even napping. Such cuties. Whatever. Like, you want anything to do with these Maggie mutts. What's wrong? You didn't think that. You just had to move on. Wait, what'd that say? Dogs are also adorable. You want to pet every single one you come across. But you know, not all owners are cool. The strangers just walking up and manhandling their pets. Not all dogs appreciate it either. So you stroll around the path trying to exude a welcoming aura that will beckon one of these cute doggies on you. You don't have to wait very long. You stop at, at the smallest, cutest puppy you've seen. You've ever seen scampers up to you walking your path. Okay, last time we, we picked up the puppy. I say, let's eat it this time. Ah! I hope we just took a big bite. That's disgusting. I think I'm going to be sick. There's no way I could ever do that. All right, I say, let's kick the puppy. What? It's just a puppy. There's no way I would ever do that. Let's kill the puppy then. No, that's horrible. There's no way I would ever do that. All right, let's pick the puppy up. Ah! <laughs> Terrify, you drop the puppy to the ground, practically throwing it from you. You immediately feel horrible, wincing <laughs> in guilt at the tiny yelp it releases upon hitting the ground. The owner shoves you aside with a cutting glare and storms away with their puppy. I I'm, I'm sorry. You call out, but they don't turn back or respond. Not that you expected them to. You deserved it. You. Maybe you're not feeling so great about being at the park at the moment. Maybe you should leave. I'm going to stay at the park. Fuck you. You stay at the park. You try to calm down by watching all the dogs from afar as you walk along the path, but every so often one will run up to you, and when they do, they look wrong. The owners don't even seem to notice. Maybe this wasn't the best idea after all. Maybe... Maybe you should have stayed with me instead. What's that? You're broken out of your thought when someone lands gently on your lap. I see the frisbee in my thighs. Hey, sorry, can you throw that back? Uh-uh. Why your dog running up to me? No, no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, doggy, I'm tweaking right now. I'm off that LSD. I'm off that shroom tab right now. Stop it. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Leave, leave. I'm sorry. I'm going to leave. Good. And don't come back. I think I'll go to the dog park. <laughs> I'm going to the dog park. I'm seeing these dogs. I'm seeing these dogs. Pick up the puppy. Hold on. Yes, sir. All right. They seem confused to my reaction. Um, let's stay at the park. Just make sure we can't do anything else. They look wrong. All right. We got this big bad boy coming towards us. We're gonna throw him this time. We're gonna throw him. <laughs> Impressive. I don't wanna. I don't wanna pet that dog. I'm gonna leave, baby. I don't wanna pet that dog. All right, they say I should leave. All right, I left. Let's see what else we can do. Maybe I haven't got all the endings yet. All right, let's go. Let's enter the maze and see. What happens if we make a mistake? All right, let's skip to the... I'm sorry, I'm trying to skip to the end. <laughs> Bro, 
wrong? What the fuck? No! No! <laughs> no, evil ass cat. Evil ass cat. Ah! Ow! Suddenly, the lights turn on. Your eyes burn from the brightness. As your vision adjusts, you see that you're completely surrounded by mirrors. The reflections all grotesque and unique in ways. Looks nothing like you. What the fuck is that? Y'all see that nigga? He from Happy Happy Tree Friends, nigga? That's Poppy people? What Poppy people doing in the fucking game, nigga? Ain't no toy factory here. But they do look hungry. You back up. You don't know where to go. Was there even a way out to begin with? You bump back into a mirror <gasps> and feel a hand firmly grasp upon your shoulder. Get off me! No! Ow! Jump! Yeah! There's a sharp pain in your other shoulder. You rip away, looking back to see some thing leaning out the mirror. It has no facial features, save for a large gaping mouth stained in your blood. Looking around in a panic, you think that the mirrors feel much closer than before. The path you're coming from is long gone. You're surrounded, and every time you blink, you could swear the mirrors are getting closer and closer and closer your horrifying reflections looking hungrier and hungrier and hungrier ending 20 you failed the maze <laughs> all right i think that is all i'm going to do for today this is going to be part two of do not take this cat home like I said, I'm going to have part one of Do Not Take This Cat Home posted today, Friday, April 26th. And this is going to probably come out later in the week uh, after Sunday, part two. You know what I'm saying? If you made it to the end of this video, comment your favorite food in the comment section. And I'll be liking all of those comments because I know you a real one. And you made it to the end of this video and I fuck with you for that. But thank you guys so much for making it here. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We got new videos coming weekly. We do gaming, reaction, variety gaming on this channel. So just stay tuned for a lot of indie game and a lot of just gaming content coming up. Uh, stay tuned for a lot of more new series coming up. There are a lot of uh, story-based games I want to play. If you ever have a recommendation or anything, feel free to leave it in the comment section. Feel free to leave it in the suggestion box on my Twitch. And yeah. Peace out, y'all. I will see y'all on the flip side. Thank y'all so much for watching. And like I said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.